Hi guys, in this video I will show a demo on how to create a button which will open a link. So in Flutter, uh, it is not possible to just uh, like open a link as it is. For example, if you have a link on the if you have a link in the app and you just click on it, it won't open. So you have to add some extra code in order to open the link. So we will create that page in our app. And in case you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So now let's begin. So what you are seeing here is the code which we get when we create a Flutter project. And here I have deleted the my home page code so that we can add it in our own way. So now let's start. So in order to create such a page, what we need is URL launcher. So for that, we'll search URL launcher flutter and then click on the first link. And then we can go to the installing section. And now you need to copy this and paste it in the pubspec.yaml file. And wait for it so that it gets downloaded and installed. So once it is uh, downloaded or installed, then we can go to the page where we want to import that. So in order to create an app with a button such that it can open and link, I'll create one more page here and I'll name it as link.dart and in that I'll first import the material dot dot and after that I will import the URL launcher because we will need it in in this file so now here I'll use a stateful widget and name it as link and after that here I'll make it return scaffold and after returning the scaffold I'll make use of an app bar and in that i'll give the title as uh, let me let me name it as click click and link you can name it whatever you want so that's not an issue there is one parenthesis missing here so let me add one more okay so now I'll save this and in the main.dart file I'll import the link.dart and after importing I can use the link that is this widget which can be shown so once I have saved it I'll run the app and it will take a, a one or two minutes in order to run the app so till then we'll code the next things. So now after installing the URL launcher uh, package and we have imported it. And what this will do is it will create an app with an app bar with the title click and link. And here within the body, I'll create a button. So in order to create a button, I'll use the icon button and the icon button takes a few parameters and in that I'll assign the icon as icons.link and after creating the icon we also need to do that what will happen when we press it so in order to define a function or write a function that what should happen on pressed I'll write it separately so for that once we have imported the url launcher we can use this in order to write that function so for example here uh, i will create a function that is launch url and it won't take any parameters but i'll but it will 
but we need to use the keyword async here because we need to wait or it is a future uh, like uh, when we click on a URL it takes few time so that uh, it can get loaded and till that time and since we are waiting for an event to happen we use the async and in this we can uh, we can now write the function or the body of the function and i'll make uh, and i'll assign the url as the one which i have uh, already commented out here and this will be the url which we will use that or which will open when we click on the button so now uh, this is the url which we have and async is the keyword which is used because we need to uh, take care of a future event so now uh, we can check that like for example if this url can be launched we need to launch it and otherwise we need to uh, like throw an error that we we couldn't launch it so if we want to check that we will use await and we'll use the function that is can launch and here we'll pass the url and if in case it can launch it we will just make it launch the url using the launch function and otherwise will throw an error okay let me cancel it okay there's an error here let me complete this statement okay this has closed unexpectedly now i'll rerun the app once again so here i'll use throw could not launch the url so this is the error message which we will get in case uh, there's some issue with the link so i will run it and it will take a few um, maybe a one or two minutes for the device to set and after writing this function we now need to use this function in the on pressed so here we'll assign launch url to the on pressed and once we have done it we can save and see the app we can see that we have a link here and let me bring it to the center and in order to do that we can use wrap it with a widget and i'll use center and i'll also increase the size I'll make the size as 50 and I'll also change the colors to colors dot um, purple or blue and after saving it we'll now find a link in the middle of our app and now when we click on it it should open the URL since the net connection is slow here it is opening slowly or loading slowly but you can see here that once we have clicked on that button we can see that it opens up a page and this is the page and the URL of that page is present here and now if we click back we see that our app is open once again so this is the way in which we can make a button open up and link so thanks for watching my video and please do like and subscribe thank you